Hello, and welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm your host, Sean, and I'm joined here with fellow builder and cricket legend, Nihit. Nihit's going to be walking us through an AI ML-based solution that helps customers better understand the hot topics surrounding their brand. Our customers tell us that understanding public perception about their brand is critical for managing their business. They would like to get real-time insights and so that they can respond quickly. There's a lot of different Twitter sentiment engines out there. Nia, tell us why this one is different. This solution goes beyond simply aggregating keywords or key phrases or doing a basic sentiment analysis. It uses machine learning to identify the hottest topics being discussed and help customers understand the context behind them. Well, let's jump right in. All right, Nia, let's take a closer look. Tell me about this solution. So this is the landing page of the solution. Right. On this page is a link to the source code, mm -hmm. the CloudFormation template, uh, deployment guide, as well as a button to launch directly into your web console. Oh, so you can get up and running pretty quickly. Absolutely. OK, well, let's dive into the architecture. How did you design this? So the architecture overall can be visualized as three main components. Right. The leftmost side is the ingestion portion of it. Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle is the workflow and the orchestration of the various AI services. Right. And on the right side is storage and visualization of the inference events that you would receive from the machine learning inferences. OK, that seems pretty reasonable. Well, let's, let's look in the ingestion phase. It looks like it gets kicked off with a simple API call. Yeah. So there is a Lambda function. Right. Uh, the Lambda function is triggered through a CloudWatch event rule. Right. And it calls a Twitter search API mm -hmm. to pull in feeds. And these feeds are then pushed through a Kinesis data stream. On the other side of the Kinesis data stream is a Lambda consumer. Right. That triggers a step function workflow to orchestrate the various AI services. I see. And it looks like you're using Comprehend, Translate, and Recognition. That's right, Sean. So the solution allows you to uh, create a filter on the tweets that you want to ingest. As a, the filter defines a list of languages for the, feed, for the tweets that you want to pull in. Right. And Translate does the job of converting non-English tweets to English before subjecting it to Comprehend okay. for topic modeling, sentiment analysis, entity and key phrase detection. I see. So everything gets translated to a baseline language of English, and then you put it through the pipeline for analysis. Right. I see. And recognition then does the job of detecting embedded text within the images, as well as any unsafe content, something which is violent, um, any negative imagery that may be associated with the brand. I see. I see. So that will alert uh, customers in case there is something that might you know, trigger something worth digging into. Right. So you mentioned detected text and the moderation labels. Right. How do those get uh, outputted into the analysis? So the detected text goes to the same comprehend processing, uh -huh. uh, topic modeling, entity and key phrase detection, sentiment analysis. Okay. And the moderation labels are available as inference events, which can be visualized uh, from a brand context perspective. OK. And I see here you're using Event Bridge. Why did you take an event-based architecture here? So for this solution, the, there's only one target that we have defined for the Event Bridge, basically to store all the events to an S3 bucket. But the Event Bridge provides the flexibility for customers to extend the solution to add additional targets and define additional rules for based on their use case. I see. So if they wanted to have multiple consumers of the data, this is where they plug in. That's right. OK, perfect. Um, well, do we get to look at the dashboard? Sure. OK. So this is a topic analysis dashboard. Oh, wow. Uh, on this dashboard, uh, we have all the dominant topics that the solutions detected. I see here. So you got 000 through 009, I think. That's right. Uh, so the solution is configured to detect 10 topics, but through a cloud formation parameter, you can detect up to 100 dominant topics. OK, so these are like the, the biggest topics that people are talking about with respect to my brand. That's right. And 000 being the most dominant one. I see. So the second row of visuals then focuses on 000, which is the most dominant one, and brings in all the phrases associated with that dominant topic as well as the sentiments and the corresponding tweets. I see. So the first row is all 10 topics. Then we drill into the most dominant one. And I can see the sentiment analysis of it, the tweets themselves, and the word cloud of the most uh, dominant terms in that topic. Right. 
That's great. Got it. The third row is a word cloud of all the phrases within the within those dominant topics. And based on whatever the user is interested in, you can click on a specific one. So in this case, I'm clicking machine learning. Okay. And that refreshes the content for the other two visuals. Okay. So you can dive a little bit deeper into uh, a particular term within a topic. That's right. Okay, great. So that makes sense from a comprehend perspective. But what about from the recognition? Uh, what comes? Where's the output of that analysis? So if I switch to the image analysis tab, here is where the inferences from recognition are visualized. Um, the first row of visuals shows whatever embedded text that recognition detected for us. Okay. And the second row of visuals is the moderation labels and any unsafe imagery that it found associated with the tweets that it ingested. I see. So you're really looking at two things here, text within an image, and then the image itself, uh, and if there are any flags that uh, recognition detected with respect to violence or suggestive content. Right. And selecting any one of them actually refreshes the content to help customers dive deeper oh. into understanding the context behind it. I see how that could be pretty helpful. I really like how you designed it. It's serverless, it's easy to get started with, and there's extension points. Um, thanks for walking me through. My pleasure. Thank you. This is a great way for you to go beyond sentiment analysis and understand the hottest topics that are impacting your brand. You can use this solution to augment with your business strategy around product launches, service announcement, crisis management, public relations, and in general to understand public perception. Go check out Discovering Hot Topics with Machine Learning and other solutions on the AWS Solutions website. And see you next time.